It's time to expose Sky News again for the second time today. This is about, oh, another bias and another irrational and illogical take on the Lionesses, the England's women football team. All right, so we had, oh yes, Wilfred Emmanuel Jones, MBE, or as he calls himself, the Black Farmer, who was uh, on Sky News with Rachel Shabby. And these guys decided to talk about the press preview thing, the newspaper preview thing that they do on Sky News every night. And uh, Wilfred uh, was not too happy about the England women football team being white. Too many white people. Well, 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 well okay. So let's go to this video. We're going to react to it as we watch. The only thing I would say about this picture here, what jumps out of you is that this doesn't sort of represent diverse Britain. Um, it's all these blonde, blue-eyed girls. And, you know, I, I wish them well. I mean, again, imagine if you had said the exact same thing, but change the word white and blonde and blue-eyed. Just change it. T turn it into brown and black. I don't know, Afro her, you will be cancelled. But I do think we need to ask ourselves questions about why is it that we've got, um, it's so, it has but a lack of diversity. Are, they're, they're playing sport at an elite level. Yeah. And they are from Britain. And they're, they're women. Uh, yeah, they are. And technically, we are still a majority white country here. And also, I don't care about your skin colour. What, what is the obsession? with skin color. But also, I know that the host of the, of the program said that, but I'm gonna go back to her because she also is not a good host. It doesn't make any difference. I think if the whole idea behind this is going to encourage more women to go and into the sport, you need some sort of representation yeah. there to say whatever background you come from, you could get to yeah. this sort of level. No, 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 that's not how it works. If you're talking about competitive sports, if young people, boys or girls, if they want to be encouraged, what they do, they look at their heroes and the football players, for example, and say, that football player has that set of skills and I want to be like that player, so I'm going to be encouraged. So people who looked at Ronaldo or Messi when they were kids watching them, they didn't say, oh, I'm looking at Messi, he's tiny and he's got black hair and I'm, I'm, I'm tiny, I'm short, I'm a midget. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a fool. But they didn't look at Ronaldo saying, oh, I like his face, he looks like me. So I'm gonna be like Ronaldo. No, no, they looked at the way he took free kicks, for example. That's why they got encouraged. Because it's Britain important, doesn't it, like that. Yeah, it and doesn't. it's so I mean... important when you speak to these little girls <laughs> right. that they see someone that they can right. relate exactly. to. Exactly. exactly, it makes such a difference. That little girl might then end mm. up playing football yeah. and... because she's seen someone who looks like her. Mm. But right. it doesn't detract it's, it's fashionable it to knock men, but if this was a it's man, fashion. it would be... It would... Oh, right. Okay, so the host. Um, the job of the host was not... At the end, she also basically decided to get, jump on the bandwagon, saying, yeah, actually, I think you're right. Yeah, you have to be more representative. But the beginning of it, she was trying to challenge it, right? Saying, yeah, but they are from Britain, and, you know, they are women. They, they got involved. That she meant they are represent, re representative of the country. No, no, no. The job of you as the impartial and neutral Sky News host and anchor was supposed to shut him down saying, this language, you are causing division and this is divisive and this is just disgusting. Just shut him down saying what you're talking is nonsense, irrational and just incorrect. That's what she should have done. But of course she didn't do that. And eventually, at the end, despite challenging him at the beginning, technically challenging him, she also jumped the bandwagon and said, actually, yeah, yeah, girls, yeah, girls, football, non-white girls, who cares? I don't care about your skin colour. If, if you're going to be good at football, be encouraged, have right um, academies and schools uh, to encourage people to get into sports. If they want to get into competitive sports, let them do it. I mean, we now live in a world with direct access to information. Everybody has power. To power, power to information and a lot of ideas, you literally have AI, artificial intelligence tools, advising people and being the gurus now. So it's no longer the 18th century that you could live in a corner in the country and be so isolated to everybody else and not have the same opportunities. Everybody has the exact same opportunities now. Doesn't matter where you come from, what sort of wealth you're born into, it, things have changed. You could literally born, be born in poverty and could get to the top now, but you couldn't before. 
doesn't mean it's easy. doesn't mean everyone deserves it. Still, some people get stuck in the past. But that's how life is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.